just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, Garrett Cole. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. All right, ready to go here. Here's Shohei Otani. The pitch. There's the strike of the knees. And the World Series is underway. Next offered in there for a strike. Only two down. Lifted in the air, right field. Stanton is there. And out number one on the grab. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Back gone. He nails one out to right. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Sliced hard, but foul. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. One down, base is empty. And one it's more. even up. Freddie Freeman delivered a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success, and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs, and more than 100 RBIs. That's a great season. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck. Right field. Stan going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Mookie Betts brings the noise on this home run. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back here with my pal Ziggy. And towing the slab in this one, Jack Flaherty. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And Glaber Torres retired, and there's one down. And time now to check out the New York Yankees lineup. They're already down a run, so I'm sure they'd like to punch back and even things up early. Yeah, it's never a good feeling, especially at your home ballpark, to go down in the first inning. So the best way is just to come out aggressive, try to tie the ball game up, but not just tie it up, take the lead. I tell you what, momentum can really swing, and you can put your pitcher back in a position where he feels his most confident. The Dodgers leading by a run here in game one. Ball Next one. pitch is downstairs. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Ah, Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on a pitcher as the game goes on. Aaron Judge stands in now and watches strike one. That's a laser base hit, and that keeps the inning alive. 
Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield oh. for the base hit. Those always feel great. The Dodgers up by a run here in game one That's of the shot. World Series. Throughout one history, ball. the one fastball strike. down has been the most successful pitch. Ball. Guys can handle a little bit better these days, but they, of course, still prefer something built high. The 2-1. Fought off foul. Two outs. Ball. And now it's filled up. 3-2, two, two out, down. runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Ah. Struck him out without a swing. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. One hit, one left. Second inning coming up in the Bronx. It's the Dodgers one and the Yankees. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the start of the inning. Here's Muncie to hit. Cole back to work. The strategy around starting pitchers in the postseason, it's really changed in recent years. Managers are pulling starters earlier, making a strong bullpen essential for a championship team. Muncy hits one in the air. Stant should have this one. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Here's Kike Hernandez. That's a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The key there, tracking the baseball all the way back through the hitting that zone, is, allows you to hit a ball right back up the box like that. Yeah, okay. here comes Tommy Edmond. The shortstop takes the ball. Yeah, I think with starting pitchers, they're not going as deep in the postseason because managers aren't willing to let them get knocked around and put a game out of reach. Most skippers have a quicker hook this time of the year. That's out to center field. It gets down, a base hit. Throw into third. Not in time. He's safe. Batting in. The catcher. One down. The batter now will be Will Smith. And that one a little below the knees. And that's ball one. Runners at the corners, one away. Here at the top of the second. And that one hammered. Verdugo reaching back towards the wall. Got it. Bangs against the wall but holds on. That is not the second base. And now it's Gavin Lux. Lux. That's a base hit. Run scores. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Shohei no. Otani up to the dish. Three. Next offering is in for a strike. One more. Gets under and pops it up. Drops into the glove. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And it's two zip. You're watching. Back in the Bronx. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. And he's the home run leader on this team, Siggy. That's towards center. Hernandez has it sized up. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. You know, Boog, from time to time, players mix up their routine if things aren't going their way, and Rizzo is no exception. When he was in a slump in 2023, he changed his walk-up music to Taylor Swift. No bad blood there because it worked. He went four for four and hit his first home run in over a month. He even gave credit to Swift after the game. And a foul ball, he stays alive. 
One down, base is empty. Struck him out looking. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for some reason he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. Anthony Volpe, the next to hit, takes ball one. That one finds the zone, and the count even at one. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And it gets by him. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll pull into second safely. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And here is Austin Wells. And that's a base hit. Volpe flying around third and headed home. Safe. Well, back within one as he brings home the run. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. Now this is in the air down the line. Hernandez sizing this one up. Makes the catch inning over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. And we're back. Now the number two hitter, Mookie Betts. Here comes a pitch. And that's in the dirt. Ball one. Betts can claim something not many players can. He's won the World Series playing in the National League and the American League. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And that one hops the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. Betts leads off second with nobody out. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Foul ball still low and two. Man at second. And that's a base hit. Around third. The throw in. The tag, and he's in there. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. And now Teoscar Hernandez flied to right his first time. Line drive. Makes the catch. One down. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Muncy oh. at the plate now. That's ball one. Hard ground ball, base knock. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Everything came together for him. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Stanton is there. And there's two away. Now battle. So first and second with two outs. Tommy Edmond at the plate. One for one with a single so far. First oh, no. pitch, not close. Oh. 
on the ground right side they limit the damage here but they pick up one run on the RBI single it's now a 3-1 ball game back now in the Bronx set for the bottom of the third now it's the second baseman Glaber Torres and that one fouled off and he deals ball inside Labor gets a piece one and two. The pitch. Got him swinging. And one out now. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, then he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. And first offering is fouled off. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. No ball. Two strikes. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Tasked with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. And ball one to one ball, judge. One strike. And ball. another ball. Two balls, one strike. On the ground, right side. Sends it to first. Three up, three down, inning over. Yanks held in check, and they still trail it here, three to one. Game one of the World Series. And up to the plate is Will Smith. On the ground to Jazz. Tosses to first, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. The second baseman, Gavin. So digging in, Gavin Lux. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Ball All one there. Swing and a base hit. All over that one right there. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Otani, the next to hit, takes outside. Swings and misses. That's strike one. So back in 2023, Shohei hit a home run, stole a base, and had a scoreless pitching outing in the same game. You'll never guess the last person to do it. Pablo Sandoval. Oh, you're good. I feel like I've heard that one before. The one, two. Ball two. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses, ah, uh, making that defense work behind him. Got him swinging. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Now it's Mookie Betts. He's already homered in this game. That's ball. off the mark, and yeah, that's ball one. Cole a check to first, he's and good. he's back in there. The strike, the pitch. That one ripped left field. And it's gone! Home run! Gingers unite! Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they add a couple more. It's 5 1. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. 
Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. At the play, Freddie Freeman. Volpe moving under it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Mookie Betts springs the noise on this home run. It's now 5-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's going to get to second with nobody out. you got to get on your horse and get to that ball and get it back in because he's going to come barreling around first and put some pressure on you if you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry. Now this ball is down and could score a run. Now a long throw home. And he's in there. A run comes in in the play. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And here is Anthony Rizzo. On the ground to first. Could be two. Takes it to the back. That's one. Goes to second. Safe there. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one for strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next no, offering upstairs. It's a good take. One ball, two strikes. One run across in the frame so far. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. No advance. Good job behind the dish. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Ground ball right side, and that one handled. Gets it to first, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 5-2. New inning getting started. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Back to work. Hernandez measures six feet two inches, 31 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Righty to the plate. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A gigantic blast. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6 2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Let's break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Once he digs in. First offering misses badly for ball one. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around first and hustling for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the now bat. Right. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here. But he'll take that swing and that result every time. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Garrett Cole is done in this one. We'll be back.
Jake now, Cousins into the game. Well, they didn't get much length out of their starter in this one, so they've got a lot of outs to eat up in that bullpen. I think they'll look for some length out of him right here if they can get it. Here's Kike Hernandez. Swings through that one out in front that time. Runner in scoring position, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. That's Started to go after it. Got? Now a look down to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. The Ball next two. pitch misses, and the count is even two and two. Wouldn't Ball chase three. that time. Full count. Three and two now. Ball. Got him. Run away. Tommy Edmond steps to the plate for the Dodgers. One for two. He swings and fouls one off. At the belt and fires. And that one is lifted in the air. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. So, man aboard. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. In there, and it's 0-1. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Clark Schmidt appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Holmes also getting ball. ready. Just missed. One ball, one strike. line drive and that's a base hit into center field they extend their lead as the runner scores from second it's seven to two that's about as textbook as it gets got his stride and load out of the way early he stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front man that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee runner at third two gone Gavin Lux will hit next. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Runner from third comes across. It's a two. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Waste no time there. At 110 now miles that. per hour on the yeah, exit field. Oh, that thing was screaming, and... That's some serious bat speed to generate contact like that, and no doubt a higher launch angle sends that thing out of here easily. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Ball. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Lux at second with two down. Scorch to center. No doubt about it. That is long gone. A massive home run. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add a pair. It's 10 to 2. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. for the Yankees Clark Schmidt and with the big deficit on the scoreboard he almost has to just put that out of his mind every outing matters for relievers and their numbers but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game bounced up the middle and he'll be safe at first two outs runner at first and next for L.A., Freddie Freeman, one for three. Ball. 
that oh. one off the mark. And it's one to no. Foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Flying around third is Betts. Tries to get hey. back and see. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So two down. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. No, yeah, that's, that's outside. One and oh. Runner at second, two down. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. That was blasted to the moon. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they add to the lead. It's 13-2. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. Just an excellent swing all the way around. And it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive. Short to the baseball. Squared it up. And the backspin carried it out of here. And now it's Max Muncy. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo, light tower power. That's right. No question about this one. It's out of here. They go back to back, and they boost their lead. It's 14-2. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Luis Heal. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And here it comes. In the air, center field. Sizes this one up. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. But they put a nine spot up on the board here to open up a big lead. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Alex Verdugo. And a foul ball. You know, these Yankees just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Right through there for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Got him looking for the K. Frozen with the heater at the knees. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Man, at first, here is Aaron Judge. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. The throw is still in time, and they get it out on the play. So one hit is all they get. Five innings complete. L.A. is on top, 14-2. 
Back in the Bronx, start of the six, John Shambi with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Tommy Edmond. Bounced up the middle. Torres fires Out. over to first. One up, one down. And here is Will Smith. And first offering is fouled off. And look out as that one ran in and got him. As a hitter, I'll take that all day long. An off-speed pitch, it's not going to rattle your cage too much. One gone runner at first. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. In the air, out to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Back to the top of the lineup. Next is the Dodger DH, Shohei Otani. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. The Dodgers up big in this one. And we're in the top half of the sixth. And batter waits. One, two. And that one goes straight to the backstop. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Left hand hitter waits. Ball. And another ball. Smith at second with two down. Two outs. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. Mookie Betts getting on deck circle. And on second, two down. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. Dodgers lead it 14 to two. Bottom of the sixth inning. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Ball. No. Close, but call the ball. Ball one. one pitch so a foul ball makes it one and two the pitch and a swing and a miss down on strikes and there's one down and now it's John Carlos Stanton that's a base hit Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base oh. hit. Up and in, one and the one. count even one and one. Ah. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The one two. Good job to fight that one off. The one two. Hard hit left side. Off balance feed. There's one. On the first double play. And that's the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the seventh here in game one. Dodgers lead this one 14 to 2. 
Here's Mookie to hit. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Heel back to work. Just oh, no. off the outside edge. And that's ball one. That one ran inside, almost got him. Turns and fires to Betts. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Nice swing to drive that pitch up the middle. Could have easily bit out in front on the off speed and pulled off of it, but... He was looking to use the big part of the field, and he executed his plan perfectly. Now it's going to be Freddie Whoa. Freeman. First pitch misses. Betts gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swing, and that ball smashed out of line. He's got it, and there's one away. Now that left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Man at first, and up next for Los Angeles, Teoscar Hernandez. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field, sizing this one up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. So, man aboard, Max Muncy at the dish. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Now, Kike Hernandez. And that one fouled off. First and second, two down. Here are the late stages of game one. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Up with it, fires to first. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. So they strand a pair. Mid Back at Yankee Stadium, bottom of the inning, and the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. Into center. Hernandez hustling after it. Snags it on the run. And there's one down. And now Austin Wells. And immediately pumps in a strike to the no left-handed hitter. One strike. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seven. Hey. And that's in there at the no knees. Ball. Two strikes. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. One down, base is empty. Stays alive. Here's the 0 2. In the air, left field down the line. Hernandez sizes this one up, two way down. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. One Inside, out. almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Two Not out. close with that one. And that's ball two. Two out spaces empty. Pitch misses, and it's 3-0. Oh. 
That one catches the corner for a strike. 3 1 is on the way. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand up double. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Great hands on that swing. Took the barrel right to the baseball, caught it out front, and ripped it into the gap. Whoa. At that point, there's probably no question in his mind that he was going for two. That's just a great feeling. Man at second. And yeah, that's outside. Now 2-0. Oh. And three. another ball. Juan Soto up next. There's a strike, 3-1. and one. Right through there for a strike. Verdugo on its second with two down. And that one lifted in the air center field. And that is the third out of the inning. This one pretty well. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Tommy Canely. Tommy Edmond steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Canely goes six foot one. He features a changeup, a four seamer, a slider, and he works in a sinker. Well struck right field. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And it's fouled away. Ball and one. ball one. In the air, right field. Stanton makes the grab. Runner tags at second, and he's in safely at third with one out. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Crushed to right. This one's got a chance. Out of here. Home run. And they add to their lead. It's 16 to 2. First pitch change up, and he was all over it. Not sure if he was expecting off speed or not, but he picked up on the velocity and punished it. So the lineup flips over. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. In the air, out towards left center. Verdugo ranging after it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two down. Now Here's Mookie now. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Can't glove it cleanly. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Two outs, runner at first. Now here is Freddie Freeman. In the air, left side. That one gets down for a hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Tim Meza gets the call from the pen. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Two on, two outs. On a line, base hit, and it gets by him. One run is in. Here comes Freddie around third. He'll score. Two runs are in, and they extend their lead. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch, and right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. 
Here comes Max Muncie. That one to first. It's through for a hit. Coming home. He'll score, and the lead continues to grow. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. And first offering is fouled off. Offense exploding for five so far in the inning, and we're in the top of the eighth. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Movement in the bullpen. Mark Leiter Jr. appears to be getting loose. Hill getting cranked up as well. High fly ball out into left center field. Verdugo gets under it. And that's the third out. So five. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Alex Vesia. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And a pitch. Hit hard, that gets through. And the leadoff man aboard. It's Aaron Judge now. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Jazz Chisholm Jr. Stepping in now for the Yankees. That no, one missed. Unless things start to change, the pressure tomorrow is really going to be on this home side. You can afford to lose game no. one, but you can't go down 0-2 at home. So they'll need to forget about this one quickly. Next pitch in for a strike. Two and one now. First and second, no outs. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Foul ball. And they'll do it again. On the ground, a short could be two. There's one and two. No, in out. time to first for the double play. No, the shortstop oh, makes the decision, commits to oh, it, field. touches second himself, no. and then a strong throw across the diamond to get that That's second out. Really nice job. Comes up empty. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just going to try to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. Swings and misses. Third out, and that ends the frame. Back in New York. We go to the ninth. Now it's the shortstop, Tommy Edmond. Meza back to work. On the ground to the left. And they get Edmund for the out. Will Smith now at the plate. Up the middle. Throw on to Rizzo. And they get the out on Smith. Two outs, bases empty. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Oh, one. Into center and a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Right side, hard hit. Torres over to first, and that is that. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. Six, seven, eight scheduled to start the bottom of the ninth. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the ninth, and here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. No ball, one strike. And a pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. 
Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. Well, look, in a game like this, oh, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. Guys have been out here for a while. Umpire's saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. Volpe in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. So they're down to their final out. Austin Wells getting ready to hit. And a foul ball. This could end it. And one and two. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. Right through there, got him. And the crowd goes home disappointed as this one draws to a close.